Odcinek pierwszy, Donut Go Gentle. Mackenzie i Dr. Green zostają rozdzieleni, gdy ich samolot rozbija się w dziczy północnej części Kanady. Walcząc o przetrwanie, Mackenzie odwiedza miasteczko Milton i zaczyna pojmować skalę cichej apokalipsy. The Joker. Seems about right. Feels like another record cold snap on the way. I'd better get a fire going before the pipes freeze up again. Great Bear Island. 
Dad used to fly there all the time. He said it used to be beautiful. Not much reason to go there these days, since the quakes and all. Jackrabbit remote transport. Zero flights a day to the mainland communities and, well, anywhere really. Damn, I was right. Pipes froze up again. Ugh, cheap electric crap. Never works when you need it. I don't remember needing my parka this early in the season. It seems to get colder every year. Getting pretty late in the day. Guess I could take a nap. Well, here we are, old girl. Your best flights may be behind you, but you're still beautiful to me. And anyways, you're all I've got. I'd sure love to give you one last great adventure. Those were better days. Jackrabbit Remote Transport, Mackenzie speaking. I told her not to come up. I told her you couldn't fly in this weather. For once, will you not be so damn Whoa, well, well, slow down, Maureen. What are you talking about? She just showed up. Said you'd see her. Said you'd fly her north. I know you need the money. The weather service... It's okay, Maureen. I've got it from here. Uh... Hello, Will. What are you doing here? It's been a while, I know. Yeah. Years. I haven't heard from you since... I know. I know. And I wouldn't be here if it weren't important. Well... What brings you... I mean... Are you sick? <laughs> no. No, not me. But I need to get to someone who is. Right. So you're still a doctor? Yes, I'm still a doctor. I thought that after... <laughs> Why are you here? I need your help. There's an isolated community in the northern part of Great Bear. Someone there is very sick. Great and... Bear? There's nothing there anymore. Not since... I know. But I have to get there. Still trying to save the world, huh? Somebody has to. What's that supposed to mean? Mackenzie... Uh, Will... I didn't come here to fight about the past. I need a pilot to take me somewhere remote. Someone who won't ask too many questions. Someone I can trust. Wait. Questions? Astrid, are you in trouble? Are you gonna help me, or not? What's in the case? See, there's that thing about no questions, remember? What's in the case, Astrid? No questions. Look, the weather out there is bad. Bad. I mean, it's getting worse. You walk in here after years. I could have been dead. You could have been. 
Then you show up and you want me to just risk my life flying into the middle of the great northern nowhere to deliver you and some mystery metal case to some remote wilderness outpost, all because you walked in here and asked me to? Yes. Astrid, you can't bring him back. This isn't about that. I know how hard it's been. No. You don't know, Mackenzie. You don't know anything. You don't think I feel it too? Are you gonna take me or not? The longer I wait, the worse it'll get. Damn it. Look, I don't have time for this. Wait. The worse what will get? Why do I have a feeling you're not talking about the weather? Because I'm not. Throw your bags in the plane. I'll get started on pre-flight. Better buckle up tight, because it's going to be a rough ride. Let's see. Two people, plus enough fuel to get us out to Great Bear and back leaves. Hmm. Almost no capacity for cargo. If we're too heavy, we'll burn through our fuel before we get there. I'll have to be careful about what else I take with me. Ah, a rare Mackenzie family photo. Miss you, Dad. Astrid's traveling pretty light. Wherever she's going, she must not be planning to stay long. The mysterious case. Astrid definitely doesn't want to talk about what's inside. Which means she's probably not supposed to have it. The distress pistol kit is heavy, but I'd hate to end up in an emergency situation without it. Astrid's a doctor, so we're covered there. But probably best to have some extra meds just in case. Water, energy bars, verification tablets. Breakfast of champions. Just need to grab my parker and we can go. I know you do. 
what I did. The choice I made. I did it for us. But you don't have to. Let's just not... No. It's important that you hear this. There's things I need to Mackenzie, say. Mackenzie, not now. There's... Just let me tell you. Will, shut up for a second. Something's wrong. That is not good. What's going on? Power's gone. The whole electrical system looks fried. Shit! What's happening? No power means we're going down. Hold tight. Will? Astrid. Astrid! I must have gone right through the windshield. Trees broke my fall. Oh, mostly. Need some first aid. Cold is making my head feel thick. Come on. I don't feel so good. I need to rest up. Astrid hasn't come looking for me, which means she can't come looking for me, because she's hurt, or worse. I'd better get back up to the crash site.
could probably climb that. Finally, made it. My plane. Not sure which of us looks worse. All I could, poor girl. This isn't how things were supposed to end. I've been looking for you. I can always use more food. Astrid's pack. in this case, Astrid was ready to die for it. I hope she hasn't already died for it. Definitely passed through here, and in a hurry. Someone's been here recently. Could it have been Astrid?
Astrid, where did you go? Goodness for that. like some kind of radio tower. It must be closer to civilization than I thought. Can't feel my hands. Someone's just sitting here, frozen. What the hell? Great, a town. Maybe I can find help there. chimney. That means someone's home. Hello? Anyone out there? What happened here? This whole area looks like it's been abandoned for a while. 